In today's video, I will introduce you to Snorkel, an amazing platform that uses AI to give instant feedback to your students. It gives feedback on many different subjects, but is really powerful, especially for maths lessons. So let's have a look at what it looks like, what it can do, and how you as a teacher might use it. So first of all, you can find the links in the description below. I've already signed up for a free account. And here, this is the interface you will be greeted with. So you can see on the homepage, it says you haven't created any classes yet. So let's do that first. I'm going to go to the top where it says classes. And I'm going to create a class. I can set up this class. I'm just going to call this a sample class. And we are going to give the class a color. I quite like green, so let's go ahead and select green. Create. Now in this class, you can save many different activities. So each class will act as sort of as a folder to house those activities that you can then assign. I have no students at the moment in my class, but that's okay. We are going to start by adding some assignments. Now at the moment, I am the only teacher in this class, but I can also click on this add button to add a co-teacher to my class. I can then also here at the bottom, see all the different activities. So let's go ahead and click on the sign activity. We're going to create a new activity or select one from our own library or the snorkel library. Now for the sake of this demonstration, let's have a look at the pre-generated assignments created by others in the snorkel library. So I'm going to click on the snorkel library. Once this opens up, you see all the subjects right there. We have maths, we have science, reading and language arts, general. Let's go for the maths questions. We're going to select a, let's select a grade five maths question. And this now opens up all the available assignments for grade five maths. And you can see here, we have lots of different questions and assignments. So here, for example, least to greatest comparing decimals. We have multi-step decimal story problems, fraction subtraction equivalence, so many different things that you can do. We are going to find the measurements and let's find perimeter with centimeters and meters. I'm going to open up this question. I can see on the right hand side where it's come from. I can also see the question here on the left. Roy thinks the perimeter of the rectangle shown is 164 centimeters. Samira thinks that the rectangle is 164 meters. Are they correct? Explain how you know. Now we can try this as a student. So let's go ahead and click on this. And this is what this will look like to your students. So they get the instructions here. They can listen to those instructions. Let's go ahead and do that. Roy thinks the perimeter of the rectangle shown is 164 centimeters. Samira thinks the perimeter of the rectangle is 164 meters. Are they correct? Explain how you know. So as you can see, it's very natural sounding. It sounds like having a teaching assistant in class. So let's go ahead and click on start response. This is what your student would do. And they can now start drawing on this canvas. So now what they can do is they can record their screen and voice and they can just talk through their solution. So we're going to do that. We're going to click on record screen and voice. It's now recording my voice. Um, I see two meters there. So I'm just going to make a note there, two meters. So two meters plus two meters makes four, four meters. So we have four meters. Um, but then this one says 80 centimeters and 80 centimeters. So 80 and 80 together would make 160. So we've got 160 on those sides and we have four. So 164, yeah, 164 sounds good. 164 centimeters. There we go. I think my answer is 164 centimeters. So I think Roy is correct. That, that clearly was not the correct answer, but I'm going to see what the AI is going to respond to this. So let's go ahead and submit our drawing, our talking, our speech, everything. Let's submit it to the AI. We can also rewatch this here by clicking on play. And voice, it's now recording my voice. As you can see, it's recorded everything. It's recorded the drawing. It's recorded my thought process and everything can be submitted. So we're going to submit this response. It's going to be uploaded. AI is now going to give feedback on what I've done, how I've solved this question. So here you can see it is generating that feedback. 
Whilst it's generating the feedback, I can re-watch my own recording. I can even increase the speed if it is a little bit too slow. We also have our closed captions. Again, a great accessibility feature fully built into Snorkel. Um, so let's go ahead and wait for the generated feedback. And here we go, we have our feedback. Now the first thing we see is Snorkel AI is saying that the answer is incorrect and that my explanation gets a two out of four. It was a fair explanation, but it's not quite there. So let's listen to what the AI has generated. So we're going to now press play. And voice. It's now recording my voice. Um, I see two meters there. So I'm just going to make a note there, two meters. And as you can see, there's a little dot here. That means that it's actually responding to that, what was said and done over there. So let's listen to this. I'm going to click on this little speaker icon. Good start showing your work by adding the same units together first. You correctly found that 2M plus 2MM equals 4 and 80 centimeters to 80 centimeters equals 106 centimeters. So I correctly found that 2 meters and 2 meters equals 4 meters and 80 centimeters and 80 centimeters equals 160. Let's see where I went wrong though. When adding measurements, we need to make sure all units are the same before we add them together. Can you convert the 4 meters into centimeters before adding it to 160 centimeters? Hint, 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. Okay, so now I can use that feedback to try it again. So what I can do is I can click on respond again. Now here at the end, we have one more final note. So let's listen to this. I notice you only checked Roy's answer, but didn't consider Samira's answer. What do you think about Samira's claim that the perimeter is 164 meters? Okay, so let's go ahead and respond again. We're going to click on respond again, go back to my previous whiteboard. Um, so following the feedback, I think you said I have to make sure everything is the same. So it's 80 centimeters and 80 centimeters is 160 centimeters. Um, but two meters and two meters, well, that, that would be 200 and 200. So that would make 400 centimeters which means um, altogether that would be 560 centimeters. So I think my new answer is 560 centimeters. Um, so yeah, I think both Samira and Roy were wrong. Let's submit our new thought process, our new submission. And let's see what AI says about this. You can see, I can again rewatch it. It is snorkeling away, so snorkel is generating that feedback, and then I can see my solution, or then I can see how I did. Okay, oh, you can see I've achieved it. I have correctly answered the question. It says the answer is correct. My explanation is four out of four, it's excellent. Let's listen to what it's got to say. Excellent work on recognizing that you needed to convert all measurements to the same unit first. This is a crucial step that many students forget. Okay, excellent. So let's see what's next. Um, at 12 seconds in, it tells me something. Great job breaking down your calculations step by step. I love how you calculated the length sides 400 centimeters and width sides 160 centimeters separately before combining them. Okay, so it's clearly seen what I was doing there, what I was saying. And then finally, well done on making a clear conclusion that both Roy and Samira were wrong and explaining why. Your confidence in your answer shows you really understood the problem. And there we go. So this is what the experience will be like for your students. Now a student will see their different classes, but they will also see their portfolio. So here you can see the students as part of the snorkel class and then two other demo classes. When they click on portfolio, they see all the answers they have attempted to respond to and how they've done. So here, for example, you can see this one, incorrect, not yet, incorrect, a fair answer, incorrect, a fair answer. There's many different questions and all the questions they've answered are going to be here in their portfolio. You as a teacher, however, are still in that selection screen. So now that you've tried it as a student, go ahead and assign it to your class. You're going to select your class, sample size, click on next, and now you can choose. Do you want a snorkel coach? This is a premium feature. That means that they're interacting with the AI coach on their whiteboard before recording a response. Or do you want to set a schedule start due date, 
guest logins? Do you want to allow that? Or do you want to allow your students to collaborate on this? These are all settings that you can set up now before you click on assign and the activity is assigned to your students. So an incredibly powerful and helpful platform. Have a look at Snorkel, snorkel.app. And let me know in that comment section below, what are some of your favorite subjects that you can find within the Snorkel library? And what are some of the uses that you have seen of Snorkel that have really impacted student learning? I'd love to hear and read that in the comment section below. I also want to say a quick thank you to all the channel members and Patreon supporters. If you want to get the videos early, become a channel member by clicking on that join button at the bottom. You get a number of other additional benefits as well. And if you want all our videos completely ad free, then Patreon is the place for you. In the meantime, thank you for watching. And I go ahead and watch that other video on your screen.